Welcome to Electro Online. So, how is the ecliptic of our solar system and the Earth's axis oriented relative to the galactic disk? That's a good question and not so easy to visualize. Now, here is a beautiful rendition by an artist of what our Milky Way galaxy might look like. Now, it turns out that picture, of course, was drawn at a time where we didn't realize yet that the galactic center was more bar shaped than spherical shaped. But anyway, it's a good picture and of course our Sun would be in one of those not one of the main uh, spiral arms but in one of the side spiral arms like right here somewhere like there would be the Sun about 28,000 light years away now what would be the orientation of the ecliptic well let's try to uh, indicate that here so let's say that this line right here is the uh, direction to north so the up direction maybe up direction of our galactic disk so you can see that this would be the plane of the galactic disk and then here imagine and let me grab a little notebook right here but imagine then that from the plane we tilt up about 60.2 degrees and this is then the angle between the galactic disk and the ecliptic plane and that is at an angle of about 60.2 degrees now realizing that the earth's tilt relative to the ecliptic is 23 and a half degrees you might think that we want to add 23 and a half degrees or maybe subtract 23 and a half degrees from that to get the direction of the actual actual tilt of the earth relative to the galactic plane but that's not necessarily the case because remember the earth's axis precesses around like this every 26,000 years so the relative position of the actual tilt to the ecliptic plane changes continuously from year to year it turns out that currently the angle between the galactic disk and the equatorial plane of course the equatorial plane is perpendicular to the axis of the earth from the north pole to the south pole and that swivels around relative to the galactic to the ecliptic plane and currently the angle between the act between the uh, equatorial plane and the galactic disk is 62.9 degrees it is correct to say that if we take 60.2 degrees and add 23 and a half degrees or we take 60.2 degrees and subtract 23 and a half degrees remember that 60.2 degrees is the angle between the the uh, galactic disk and the um, ecliptic plane and then if we add 23 degrees 23 and a half degrees or subtract 23 and a half degrees from that then that would be the range in which the equatorial plane could be and is going to change continuously over a period of 26,000 years now currently we're at 62.9 degrees so we're just slightly more than 60.2 degrees uh, the angle between the galactic disk and the ecliptic plane so that's kind of hard to visualize because imagine that if the earth's actual tilt goes along like that goes around like that in 26,000 year cycles of course the equatorial plane will then of course tilt relative to the ecliptic plane but at this point they're not that far apart and relative to the galactic disk we're only 62.9 degrees away from that so very close between the galactic disk and the ecliptic plane and the galactic disk and the equatorial plane and that is what it's currently at <laughs> yeah so that's the equatorial is the plane of the equator so if you take the earth and you cut it at the equator that's the equatorial plane and that one always changes as the earth precesses in those 26,000 uh, 26, year cycles and then you have the ecliptic disk which is the uh, the plane that's made by the earth going around the sun so that's the ecliptic disk and then relative to that you have the earth precessing around that in 26,000 year cycles Well, <laughs> does it matter in the galaxy? The galaxy doesn't care. <laughs> but we care when we're looking out, we, we're trying to get an orientation of the, the angle of what the galactic plane is and then the angle of the equatorial plane because that's relative to the Earth's surface, right? That's always, you're always looking out. And then you have the ecliptic plane where all the planets and the sun go around, uh, where all the planets and the Earth go around the sun, that's relatively the ecliptic plane basically the earth going around the sun and so you want to kind of get a feel of which direction to look for certain places relative to those planes so it only matters to us only matters to us no one else cares <laughs> and you know you could probably ignore all that and just say hey i'm going to look in the direction of orion or i'm going to look in the direction of sagittarius and not really care 
what the relative orientation is. <laughs> okay. It's just good to know. I think it's interesting to know that, yes, our, our ecliptic plane is not in the plane of the galactic disk. It's, it's like an angle of 60.2 degrees. And anybody cares. There it is. <laughs>